Jersey. Previously with Peyton. Pull your shorts down just a little bit, Pooh. Spoken words, written letters. But to him, I never get them. Don't it seem like we connect when we connect and it's so passionate. Listen, it is not an anti perspirant. It is not. I am sweating. Why do it feel like right before you put the pizza in the oven? That's what it feel like outside. Okay, and this is the final look. This dress is actually from a PayPal's boutique. <laughs> Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's weekly vlog and see what's going on. So you know I have been talking about how I lost my grandma to cancer um, in 2020. Um, I lost her to colon cancer. She went to the doctor one day and she found out that she had stage 4 and it, it upset everybody in the family and she hid it from us for two years because I think it was something that she just honestly thought that would go away if she changed her eating habits and things like that and we all wish for that. We all hope for that. but. Um, it progressed and I lost her in 2020 and it's always been something heavy on my heart to really make sure that I eat better and I pay attention to the things that I consume, the things that I put in my body, on my body, in my hair and all of that. That's why I want to thank Colin Broom for sponsoring today's video. They sent over a high fiber dietary supplement that really supports gut health in your microbiome health it like it sweeps away the bad things in your intestinal tract to make sure that you are pooping regularly and um you're not having any constipation and things like that um and i can really appreciate this product because it's been something that i've been looking for um and when you're looking for dietary supplements that help you combat things like diabetes and lower your risk for high cholesterol and um, colon cancer, um, it's really hard to find these things on the market when you're just searching for them, right? Um, so I definitely wanted to come on here and tell you guys about Colon Broom and the benefits. I mean, it's going to help with your skin. You guys know I'm always talking about my skin and a lot of that has to do with the things that I consume, dairy, sweets, sugars, all of that. Experiencing constipation and things like that. Having gas, you know what I'm saying? I talk about all of these things in my vlogs candidly. Um, so being able to find a product and a company that I can work with that I believe in just really, really matters to me. And I definitely want to influence you guys to try it as well. It's so tasty. You would think that drinking something like this would probably taste like ill yuck but it tastes like a strawberry slushy it's so so good and once you make it you have to drink it immediately like 30 minutes to an hour before you eat it's definitely going to help you start pooping regularly a slew of things this product has so many different benefits so I definitely want you guys to try it out and you can get Colin Broom for 65% off right now. That's a six month subscription, but you can also add my coupon code Peyton10 to get an additional 10% off your six month subscription. And it's totally worth it, you guys. You are going to see a dramatic change in how you poop and you know just being regular. I know that the things that I used to eat when I was little, I can't eat those things anymore because I see how it makes me feel. Whether it's lethargic, my skin breaks out, I just have 
like really really bad gas i'm talking about listen so uh, i highly recommend colon brome you guys and like i said you can use my code payton 10 to get 10 percent off your order in your subscription thanks again to colon broom for sponsoring today's video good afternoon you guys welcome back to another weekly vlog so i'm getting ready to head over to Porsche to get my car washed and then I'm gonna stop by the grocery store I need to pick up some more panoxyl patches because according to my face and my skin I am a 16 year old so <laughs> yeah we're never gonna stop needing my pimple patches so I like the panoxyl ones that I get from CVS um and I stopped by CVS and picked up a whole bunch of stuff and forgot to get the pimple patches so I just had three that came to a head so I extracted them and they're leaking so I want to cover them up so the bacteria doesn't spread but I did put on clindamycin I have um reduced my usage of tretinoin from every day to now like every other day um because wow like my skin really don't like tretinoin y'all it really don't like immediately when i stop my skin clears up and then when i start back it started back purging so yep we still purging but i'm about to head over to porsche and get my car washed first do I want to put on some sunglasses? I think I do. I don't get no pink ones though. So we'll put on these Loewe dupes. I think that's how you pronounce them. Thankful for the women that I know. Can't go 50 50 with no hope. Tom Thumb, uh, Tom Thumb got the patches for nine forty nine. I know that's right. Why are they twenty dollars in Target? That is so crazy to me. Like that is insane that they are twenty dollars in Target. Like why? Oh, he looks like DJ Cuddle. Rest in peace. I think I'm going to try this CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion with uh, sunscreen it's $17 why is this shit so hot do you some her hair cause I saw a girl that said she cleared her skin using eucerin and dove uh, face bar and eucerin is way cheaper look at this it's 949. Strengthens skin's moisture barrier and provides immediate and 48 hour moisture. I think I'm gonna try this. Hell, I'm gonna get them both. I'm a big kid. Love these for my parfaits. I was I was gonna see if you uh, like those. I do like those mom. Yeah, okay. We didn't do too bad at Tom Thumb today. We only spent $156, so that's not bad. Cause no. back when I go in Tom Thumb, I, I could spend a car note just for you. Yeah. Those for me. Cause you don't get pimples, I do. That's for me too. It's fine, Mom. Wow. I'm putting my back to work. Oh, Lord. Oh, shoot. That's what I'm talking about. I, I, that's, that's what I'm talking about. about. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. 
Woo! We got a little groceries on and we got in some new factor. We love that. Yes, say that again. Oh yeah. So I picked up a new car diffuser from the hotel collection. Um and some other stuff. Let's see. I think I got like a new diffuser for the home. I didn't get the one that I had already have because it broke and that thing is way too expensive to be breaking like that. So I got a different one. It's the hourglass diffuser and I'm hoping that I can use the um, oils that I already have with this one because this one I think was like $49 as opposed to the other one that's I think over $200 and it broke because I it, it broke because I leave it running like non-stop and you can't do that because you'll mess up the motor in it but they don't tell you that so it has a warranty on it but I think once you have one replaced you can't get another oh damn so this is what the hourglass one looks like. Let me see if it's some instructions in here on how to like put it together. Cause I have a whole bunch of the bottles of oils and I haven't been using them because the one that I has is broken. Okay, so it says, place the hourglass on stain resistant surfaces such as quartz to activate the scent, flip the highlight hourglass twice a day so that the reeds inside can be saturated with fragrance oil it may take three days to experience the full effect the hourglass releases a subtle aroma meant to complement other scenting accessories such as scent diffusers candles and rum sprays hmm so I guess you take two, two of the bottles and put it in there. So this one is Chandelier, which is like inspired by Baccarat. So you fill this one up. Shit, you can take more. Assemble, making sure that I was a. And then put this one on the top, empty. And it says, swiftly turn it. And do not turn again until all the fragrance oils has diffused, diffused completely from the top to the bottom. Okay, so. Wow, I can't smell it, it's coming out of, it's coming out of it, that's amazing. And it's cute too. And it says you don't flip it again until all of the oil from this has went to the bottom. Oh, it's probably gonna overflow it because this part is bigger than this one. Damn, I shouldn't have. Oh well. Learning lesson for, you, for us all. Because I definitely overfilled it. Shit. Okay, let me let me uh, post some of this out because I put, I put too much in there. Then I got the car diffuser for the Porsche. And this bad boy looks like it needs to be fully charged before I can put it in there. Because it comes with a USB cable. But this is what it looks like. And it should be able to fit in my in one of my cup holders. 
That's what I'm thinking. What's in here? Oh, okay. So this is the little... And ain't that about a blimp? They don't even give you the oil to put in it. So, how the hell... How do I get oil in here? Bruh. I am just, I am done. I am done. Okay, so this is the refill bottle. But how do you get... Well, looks like I figured it out. You just, you just, yeah, what I just did. It comes with absolutely no instructions though, like, so if you get this thing, watch this video. I guess my car is gonna smell like Baccarat cause I was totally intending on it to smell like Le Labo or the one hotel, but it's gonna smell like Baccarat cause that's all I have. All I have are chandelier. Okay, so let me charge this bad boy up and then we can go and put it in the car. I just got the car washed so it smells really good, but at first it had that new car, new leather smell. And I don't know, in the Porsche, I don't really like how the leather smell as opposed to the BMW. I love how that smells, so I don't have any like fragrance anything in the BMW because I like how it smells. I like the new car scent. It just it just smells nice and fresh, but the leather in the Porsche, no. Not my thing. I really need to iron this this uh runner in this kitchen because it is annoying me. My shoes keep catching up on it and about to trip me up. Alright, so I came up with this new recipe for a drink, so we about to make it and see what's popping. I'm scared. You okay? Okay, so what are the ingredients we're using? My fave is my gin. This gin is so strong, y'all. If you take a shot of it, baby, ain't no telling what you're going to be doing. So this has a modern botanical blend of juniper spice and infusions of cucumber and rose petals. Hey. Then we're going to add in the blueberry syrup. I picked this up from Kroger's. So instead of simple syrup, we're using blueberry syrup because we're making a blueberry French 75. And we're also going to add fresh blueberries to it as well as champagne. Yeah. Okay. So the blueberries is going to be the garnish. So we don't need many of them. So we're going to take our mixer. And we're going to do a shot of gin gonna add in a little bit of the blueberry syrup this smells so good so this is a half half shot of the blueberry syrup I feel like I'm missing some we're gonna drop in some blueberries and we're gonna shake And then add in your champagne. Oh, oh, oh! Like that. Like that. And then garnish with blueberries. And you got a blueberry French 75. Let's give it a taste. Mm. I'm a day 
have a little bit more of the blueberry syrup in here. Yeah. Oh my God, it is good. That is good, sister girl. All right, y'all, we getting ready to go live in three minutes. Live at eight. In three minutes. And I ain't had but three sips. <laughs> yeah, I ain't had but three sips of that drink and I feel it. Jen just started. When Jen go down your esophagus, baby, it get warm. It just make you get real warm and you can feel it. Getting warmer and warmer as it just go through your intestines. You know what I'm saying? Going all the way down to your bladder. You can just feel it going, getting warmer and warmer. Lord have mercy. And I feel it three sips so this might be the only drink i drink tonight honey i don't think i'm a refill mm -mm. amber just texted me girl my mama said you all right with her for putting us on to move baby she had ha she at home too happy and relaxed right about now i know that's right y'all have been getting so many dms about move people thanking me from like all over people dming me asking me can i order them some and send it to them because they can't get it they don't ship to um their country and y'all i just listen whenever i ain't no gatekeeper and i hate that they're weird trending but because <laughs> people be using it all the fuck wrong but when I when I find out about something, I have to put the girls on. Oh, I had to tell y'all about it. And when it come to mood, that's why I said, you know what? I really want to fire up, but I ain't gonna fire up on live. But I really want to fire up. Okay, we about to go live. And where my people at? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all, I'm trying to stream like stream y'all for the first time. I'm like, where the hell my people at now? Don't 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 play with me like this. Hey y'all. Okay, let's uh, let's speak to my girls. My girls, Ashanti C, Mika G, Michelle Trubel. Y'all got y'all drink now. Y'all gotta have y'all drink now. I don't see. I don't gave y'all the recipe. Hold on, let me get it. Look at it. Ain't that cute? Bitch, I just made this up. Oh, can y'all hear me? I'm, I got a little mic. I got a new microphone and stuff, so I can get real professional with my lives. I just made this up. So this is a blueberry. I don't had a few sips. Hold on. This is a blueberry French seventy five. And when I tell you, I feel it. I feel it. Can y'all hear me? Okay, Selena T, I ain't gonna have you up all night. I promise. That's why we did it a little early. You know, last time we went live at around about nine some. This time I did an hour early so we can get off around about eleven. Miss Parker, hey, Miss Parker. We ain't gonna let me love Miss Parker. <laughs> Pretty Petties, hey girl. It's the big P, not the little P. It's you know what, Alicia? You know, she don't know what to say. You my best friend in my head, and I swear one day we gonna light one in the air. We are. We are. Okay, so y'all know I love to give back, so I wanted to do a back-to-school giveaway partnering with Viffy. You guys know I'm talking about Viffy all the time. I was a part of their lunch for the first 3,000 users, so I know y'all told me about the temporary wait list, so that should be open to you guys to um, go ahead and follow me and get subscribed and just a little bit more about Viffy. So Viffy is a premium content web-based app that allows users to fuel their subscriptions by their spending. So when you link your card and that's information is not saved, you don't have to worry about that. When you link your card and you use that card on everyday purchases, whether you swipe, tap or purchase online, you get subscription credits that you can use to subscribe to your favorite content creators who are on Viffy and view their premium content. So on there, I will be posting behind the scenes stuff and also YouTube tips and things like that now i have not yet started doing it because i'm trying to figure out the format you know i do want you know i want to give y'all aesthetic but i want to give y'all informative as well but that's neither here nor there let's talk about this giveaway y'all know i love giving back and i want to give one of my subscribers a 500 dollars giveaway for back to school whether it's for yourself your kids college whatever 
I want to help my sis out or my bro out, okay? So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave in the comment box back to school. And I will be able to pick out the winner for the $500 back to school giveaway. And thanks again to Vippy for partnering with me on today's video and giveaway. Whew, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I felt like um, I went to the club last night. We had such a good time on live last night. Did I, if y'all joined the live, did y'all have a good time? I had a great time. It was so much fun. It was funny. We had some good conversations. It was like being on FaceTime with 2,000 people. But, I mean, y'all just had y'all camera off. Um, but I had a good time. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Last night, we just talked about what type of friend in different friend group settings. Um do we identify with and relate to so for me if you didn't catch the live last night or haven't watched it already for me if if i was in a sex in a city friend group i would i relate to samantha the most if i was in living single i relate to regine the most um i relate to samantha the most because samantha kind of thinks like a man she dates like a man not the promiscuity part um but how she thinks when it comes to like relationships and life and her career and things like that she puts her first so I, I i relate to samantha the most in their friend group um miranda too miranda too um with living single regime because her personality she's funny and um i like it that she she switches her hair up a lot so i feel like that's me in the other the other friends i can't relate to like St. sinclair i'm not like her khadijah i don't really feel like i'm like her in my friend groups as well as maxine i'm not like her either so i feel like i relate to regine the most um with golden girls definitely sophia because i feel like i'm always the oldest in all of my friend groups i'm always the oldest and i act the oldest like i act old and i think that's why a lot of people auntie me because i act old but i don't like it um and then we talked about the sisters I feel like I don't relate to any of them, but if I had to pick one, it would be Danny because of her relationship trauma and how she dates and she's a smoker. And she's really chill. The messy part, the blunt part, the, um, I, I, I can't relate to it. And then who, what was the last one? The last one was girlfriends, Lynn. I relate to Lynn the most because I feel like Lynn is a Pisces. She's a hippie, smart, has many talents not the free loading part so there, there were parts of the friend groups um in each friend that i could relate to but not their whole character you know what i'm saying um but if you put all of them together then i feel like you would get me out of the ones that i could relate to so that was a very funny live we had a troll in the live y'all that shit was funny as hell i don't i don't even know if he was really a troll he just asked me was i drinking bleach and i didn't understand it but it was my reaction was so funny it was it definitely gave like i had had a few drinks because i, I don't know you just got to go watch the live it was funny i can't even tell you the timestamp. I, I would say probably like an hour into it um but yeah it was a really good live i enjoyed y'all super super fun and super super funny so definitely check it out if you haven't um and yeah, we'll be doing those once a month. And it was given very much tipsy talk. Like the point of the live is tipsy talk. So of course you're going to get to see a different side of me because I'm a little inebriated while we having these discussions and stuff like that. So you get to see a more unfiltered, funnier side of me. Um, it's not to be professional, you know, it's not sponsored content and all of that stuff. So you get to, it, it's very unfiltered. You get to see like me when I had, I had a little, you know, I had a little few drinks or whatever, but I feel like it was still very classy. So anyway, um now we are this hair y'all this hair is so pretty it just shed a lot but this is the natural curl pattern so all i do is add mousse to it to kind of like define the the curls a little bit but it has like this natural like wavy crimp to it it's so so pretty um very much appropriate for this type of heat in this type of weather because curling your hair flat ironing your hair just it's it's yeah 
it would be crazy to to even attempt to in this this climate in this weather so i popped this bad boy on threw a side part on i actually like the side more part more than the middle part i just feel like it makes me look a little bit more softer versus the middle part it gives that bust down it gives edgy exotic and i don't know i like this this style with this hair better but yeah i like using the curl construct creation mousse by garnier Fructis. love this it, it don't give like a crunchy feel to your curls after it dries down it's still like you know it just it adds shine and gives it a little bit of body so today me and Cameron are meeting up with a paypal gayatana and her daughter and we're going to make um, I think body butters and body scrubs. So I'm about to jump in the shower now and go ahead and get ready for um, our day day play date. And um, if I have time, I'm gonna go ahead and film the off the the uh, closet reveal. And um, then when I come back, I'll just edit that so they can go live today. That was supposed to be a sponsored video, but um one of the sponsors is taking forever to approve content i've sent i sent them the content what two days ago they're taking forever to approve i'm like i told my manager listen i don't want to work with them anymore because i don't like this like it really shouldn't take you that long to check your email watch the video and approve it it be so annoying i get so annoyed so easily so yeah that's what we're getting ready to do today when I say it is hair everywhere in this bathroom, it's bothering me. This hair is so pretty, but it sheds so bad, like bad. And I hate that every time I find a wig I like and, the, and hair that I like, I always have this problem, like it sheds so bad. So it's like I have to throw it away because it's just like hair every freaking wear. I think I'm going to do that skin combo that I did the other day with the Danessa Myricks, um yummy skin and the good apple skin mixing these two together and kind of just working it in with your hands it gives very much skin like finish like it just look like you got good skin it's 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 so good um especially in this weather like if you don't want to put on like a, a lot of makeup i highly recommend doing it throwing you on some lashes and some lip gloss you will literally literally look like you have glass good skin good glass skin and we love that especially in the summertime now i have to keep y'all updated on how it wears in the winter time but yeah i'm probably gonna do that that little combo again all right so this is today's look of the day this uh coverall is from Fashion Nova and then I just have um, these Dior slides the ones that I stepped in it stuff in Cabo I kept them I very rarely wear them but since I'm doing this all jean look I wanted to wear um, some blue shoes and I'm just gonna put on a JBW watch and today's fragrance is uh, Le Labo's Another 13 I got these Burberry glasses that Marie got me. She gifted me these. I think these she gifted me these for my birthday. I want to say she got me these for my birthday. They have like a blue tint on them. And I'm going to wear, because it's already picked and ready to go, this Fendi bag. Child, I am on a 9% battery. <laughs> I cannot. I done sat over here and forgot to change the damn battery. I ain't even gonna get much footage. Things I used to do, the 
games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong? Can I say what is real? You are the only one that tried me. Me talking crazy. I need you all in my space, but I need it, baby. I'm late, but I still can't check in with you. I'd put a string of pearls right in your hand Make love on the beach of jet black sand Outside in the rain We can do it all night I'll touch all the places he would not so Thank you I just found it And I lost it Oh, it's the right one. I see all the mushrooms pouring out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that noise? What is that? Um, Blowing the heat. Oh. It's actually fancy. I ain't heard that at the damn beauty shop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was giving out um, flat iron, uh -huh. going to flat iron, so I was giving out. Mm -hmm. I gave you a different one because by the time you asked for one, the, um, the one I gave you was all I had. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Good. Mm hmm Let me go tell you. Yeah. That's that key to beauty hell, huh? My cousin hurt good. They bohemian. Oh yeah, she definitely got some good hair. Yeah. <laughs> I know you did not do it like that. No, I don't like men with dreads. <laughs> He's so sweet. He is. But it's just, it's not, it's not giving what I need to give. He gotta be cute too. You gotta be attracted to him. Yes, absolutely. And kind of be in shape. Mm, he's not in shape. No, you don't see that? Uh-oh. He's so sweet though. He's very good on paper. But do y'all like the hair? Excuse me, I don't have any makeup on right now, so I'm looking a little rough. But no, you're not. But the it's hair? giving with the red glasses. You gotta wear the red glasses tonight. Maybe I should. Mm hmm. Hmm. It is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it, girl. Okay, I'm about to go downstairs and get ready, but before I go downstairs, I want to tell y'all the scent combo that I just did. I got it from Parfume Diary on Instagram. That's one of my girls. Um, she came out with this three scent combo. I don't think I've ever layered three scents together, but she definitely made me want to try it since I have all three. So she layered Thymine Royal Sapphire with... Pen Holly Guns How Fetty with Oud for Greatness. So how I did it, because I didn't want to spray all three on top of each other and then linger up to my nose and it just don't agree with me. So I used the Saffron Body Mist by Ramasat. This smells exactly like Oud for Greatness, but it's a body mist and it leaves like a nice mineral veil. So it has oils in it and stuff like that. It's perfect, perfect on its own. But if you layer it with Oud for Greatness, listen, the projection amazing okay so i put this all over my body as a body mist i put the oofer greatness on my post points and like right on my thighs the royal sapphire behind my knees and on my back and the how fetty right here on my um around my neck so ain't no telling what you gonna smell when you hug me ain't no telling all right let's go downstairs and get ready Yeah, 
today what are we wearing this jumpsuit is from fashion nova i love it you've seen it before i've worn it in cabo over a year ago and then i just have all my jimmy shoe mules with it super super cute nice and long and i mean it's hot outside but this is what i wanted to put on and then on the face we did the same no makeup makeup look that we did the other day um i just have on um, my jbw watch fendi bracelet and fendi ring and i am i always wear my necklace because it covers up my keloids on my chest um and we're gonna pop on some sunglasses and we're ready to go for glasses should we do these the versace i think we should I think we should definitely i'm not gonna put on any earrings because earrings kind of annoy me um so yeah simple look today mm -mm. and i smell so good that combo i love it so far yeah bag love this bag i've been carrying it literally every day look who's here hey paypal beautiful cindy is in the building she might be a dallas girl after this trip oh yes i'm so excited i really want you to move here because I, I i just feel like this is your vibe it really is like after night one i was like oh i think i messed up i think i should have moved to dallas so we are headed to scent room because you know every time somebody come and visit me i gotta take them to the scent room yes. so they can get them some good niche fragrances honey Oh, Look like the girls are already, already outside. Yeah. And then we're gonna pop over to um what is that place called? Namo? I think it's Namo. And get some sushi. And then we're going to make cocktails. Like density to it. I mean complexity. Oh, I like this. I don't like candy yeah, sweet per se, but I like dessert. Like anything that smells like, 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 yeah. Yes. I like some really? candy. I'll go into the candy, but like, I want to smell like. Yeah, you shut up. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna give her a little Take it from me, but they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. Cause girls is players too. 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 Cause girls is players too.
all around the world. Money all around the world. We are back at the sink room because I found my fragrance. I've been spraying. She has been influenced. I have. I have. Is this gonna be your first niche? Uh, I think so. Is that yes. I think so. She's getting a. How did how did she say to you, you pronounce um, it? Two or Teo? Teo. Teo. She's getting bum, a bottle bum. of Teo. Bum bum. Bum bum or something. Bum bum. Yeah. You'll see the bottle. But yep, we're going back to the same room. She has decided. She let it dry down on her and sit down, and she can't stop smelling her wrist. <laughs> you know the vibes. I think that's what it's called. That's a cool name. Mm-hmm. That's what I can't see, but it's mostly the ZV one. I've never been to this movie theater. Oh, really? Did you see the Barbie movie, or you're not into that? I was actually supposed to go with YouTube, and because they didn't give me a plus one so Karen can go, I just didn't feel right, so I decided not to go. But yeah, if you guys are ever in Dallas, come to West Village and go to the scent room to get all of your niche fragrances. Tell them Peyton sent you because you know I love Deborah so much in her store. And if you are in LA, I'm not sure what the name of the part of town is, but she also has a location in LA. So definitely go to the scent room to get all of your niche fragrances. It's the elevated perfumery. It really, is. it really is like every time I go in there I find out about a new fragrance so they got some new Nishani's in here um, a lot of new houses she always stays up to date like I find out about a lot of new houses from the scent room because I don't really watch fragrance reviews online and on YouTube I probably should but when I'm in the mood for a new perfume I come to the scent room He say that I'm good enough, love him out there, think about shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me, he making fun of me, his girl is a bum to me, like that boy is a cap, saying he home but I know where he at, like, but he blowing her back, think about me cause he know that it's fat. Okay, we are back from a amazing girls day out, I took her to scent room and then we also went and made cocktails as you guys can see, I highly recommend joining the cocktail class at um, the people stand, it was really really nice super excuse me super crowded um like we walked in and our two seats were literally the only seats left um because we were running a little behind because we were still at the scent room y'all i picked up so many scents so we got um goldfield and banks this is blue cypress this is a wonderful scent for um to wear on vacation in this nice summer heat and then they also gave me two free bottles we'll talk about that in just a second and then i got my first roja i think that's how you, it may be roja but i got my first roja fragrance and this is isola blue oh this smells so freaking good they also gifted me two fragrances so i have black dragon and this is Oh, it's so pretty. This is pretty. And then they also gifted me Parfum de Marley. And this is Herod. So. Oh, you know what? I feel like. Why do I feel like I got something that smells similar to this? You know what? This is giving me Gris Chanel a little bit. This is giving me BDK Gris Chanel. I got to look this up. I wonder is Fig in this. This is so good, y'all. So they gifted me these two fragrances, and then I also bought the other two. So I am so excited. I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray this on right now because I feel like I got something that smell smell like this. What do I get this smell? The smell like this. That is so familiar. But yeah, today was perfect. Beautiful Cindy is exactly what her name says she is a very beautiful girl beautiful soul beautiful spirit um she was just so like 
uplifting and just light up the room like i just love her so i'm trying to get her to move to dallas because she likes dallas more than she likes houston which is it's it's that just happens like once you come to dallas you realize that you're gonna like dallas more than houston this is how it is this is how it is so i'm trying to get her to move to dallas next year um so i can have friends here but yeah successful girls stay out in yeah we got some new babies to add to the collection the collection is full upstairs so i might have to put these down here which ain't gonna be too bad i could put black dragon over there with the blacks mm -hmm. so someone asked me what does my bedroom closet look like now so yesterday i spent pretty much all day kind of like removing shoe boxes and stuff like this so now it looks like a model home stage closet i'll show you So yeah, I basically moved everything down there. There's nothing left up here but sneakers and like sweatpants and pajamas and stuff like that, which is fine with me because honestly, that's what I wear on a daily. Um, the active wear is downstairs too though. So um, I have two places in my house where I can like get dressed and get ready and shower. I'm gonna start taking showers down there. It's just because there's like the guest bathroom. Like when people, when I have company, they use that bathroom. I don't wanna like get too comfortable with taking showers in there. Um, because I don't want like soap scum to be all on the glass and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, I just sprayed on this perfume this smells so good it's very powdery it smells so damn good this is so good this is by byron perfumes called black dragon and you thinking that it's probably not a summer fragrance right but you can wear this in the summer it's beautiful it's beautiful i'd even go as far as say it's a great vacation scent too like date night vacation scent because it's so powdery and like sultry it's a very sexy sultry scent it's beautiful and then this perfume de marley the bottle is giving very much man i think this is a male scent i think this is for a man um this reminds me of gris chanel extrait the uh bdk extract version of uh gris chanel it reminds me a lot of it i need to check the notes in this because it's kind of cinnamon and powdery too this is good so yep got that and then blue cypress this is just a beautiful scent that i could it's like a clean scent it's very clean um and i feel like it's perfect for wearing like on vacation and then um the iso blue uh roja perfume it's just this shit smell like an elixir it smell like a potion this give this is giving potion number nine right here the bottle look at it mm, mm, mm. yeah listen when i went in the scent room the bottle the tester was completely gone it wasn't even nothing to test this motherfucker was 500 and 50. let me see what the receipt say 525 mm -hmm. it was 485 then they added texas state tax and dallas city tax now i didn't know they did that 525 this might be the most i've ever spent on a perfume but boy oh boy is this beautiful god dog this so doggone good mm. Mm. see that perfume what do i got this this Oh, that perfume, the model smell so familiar. What do I got over there that smell? I got something like, I, it's that BDK. It's that Gris Chanel Extra. -E. It's, that's what it is. I'm going to spray it right here. 
Mm-mm-mm. I ain't gonna lie, this smell a little like medicinal, y'all. Like it is giving the more I smell it, it's giving Vicks vapor rub. This is so good. I got I can't wait to smell it on a dry down. This is so doggone pretty and good. I wanna keep it in the box in the box like this. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe Roja, some series. That. Okay, sis, I know what you need to be asking for Christmas. Excuse my light. It goes in and out. Yeah, this one needs to be on your Christmas list. This one right here needs to be on your Christmas list, sis. God, dog, that's good. Shit. Oh, my lord. Oh, that is good. Okay. Woo, I am I am hypnotized. Didn't I say it was like a elixir? I am hypnotized right now, y'all. That is good. God damn, it kind of smell like a fruit loop. What? I am hypnotized. This shit. I am Lord. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder what made people decide to start even making perfume. Like, damn, was people just walking around that stinky? They was like, you know what? Let's start dipping these different flowers in alcohol and make something for people to spray on because it ain't right. It ain't human for uh people to be smelling like this. I, was that the real? Like, how did perfume come about? Because, wow, what a great invention. I'm just so impressed. I want to be one. I want to be one. Okay, so how do we open this? So then I got... Damn, how you open this? I don't like bottles that are hard to open. Ugh. Well... I'm gonna keep it. I'm definitely keeping this because I just fucked that packaging all the way up. And look at how this one come. That one come in a cute little package too. Big old bottle. I'll have it forever. Oh, this is oh so clean. This is beautiful too, y'all. Now, I will say, perfect for vacation. This is a great summer scent. Very light and airy and crisp. But, it leans towards the masculine. So, if you don't like unisex scents, don't get this. If you're more feminine, fruity, floral, all of the Fs, don't get this. Don't get this. Because, it leans more masculine, but it's a clean fragrance. You know what this reminds me of? Oh! I just... This remind me of that cremo. Ain't that some? This remind me of that cremo body wash. It's the exfoliating one. Wow, I am good. I am good. The Pacific Sea Salt and Grapefruit. That's what that smell like. It's so clean. Oh, perfect. When I tell y'all, it's this, this is gonna be a perfect vacation scent. Ooh, what you say? Then you can mix this and this together and make it some. Ooh, this. Because today, today I smell like a thousand dollars with all those different fragrances that I layered today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I smell good. It was good. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta go to the sim room. Sim room gonna have that pressure for you. And they give like good samples. So, if you want to try something out, wear it for a little bit, they're going to give you a nice size sample. Um, and then you get points as you spend. So, the next time you come in, based on your points, you can get $10 coupon, $15 off coupon, $20 off coupon. Because I went in today and I bought this, had so many points, went back and bought this, got $20 off this. Now, that's how you save money. 
buy that's a hack that is definitely a scent room hack buy one bottle at a time because these are niche fragrances so you're gonna spend a pretty a pretty penny on your perfume buy one bottle at the time so you can rack up the points then go back the next day buy another bottle so you can use the points that you got from the first bottle that you bought the previous day and get a little discount off your second bottle you ain't gotta take it Jersey!